Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so at the end of the last one, I said this one was entitled Multiverse versus Never Eaten, and that I sort of knew what I wanted to talk about with that. So, um, this is definitely more of a rightly one, um, obviously. <laughs> um, so for those of you who sort of are aware of my, most of my earlier videos on this channel, which were very rightly ones, um, I talked a lot about uh, the multiverse and how most of my stories, if not all of my stories, were set within the multiverse at, you know, that I'd created at some point um, or in some way were connected to the multiverse uh, that I'd created um, and stuff like that. And the Never Eaten books aren't an exception um, exactly, but they are very focused within uh, one of the disconnected realms. Um, so in some ways it kind of feels as though they're not past the multiverse. Um, I mean, they definitely are. They definitely are. Um, I know that. Um, but the point of this particular vlog is um, I've definitely found working in, in the Never Eaten setting and with the Never Eaten characters um, that I'm preferring this sort of very close narrative at the moment. Um, certainly, you know, I'm still working on the third Never Eaten book. I still have plans for the fourth Never Eaten book, which I will start working on at some point. Uh, maybe sooner rather than later, I don't know. It depends on how long it takes me to get to the end of the third book. Um, I'm anticipating it not being too much longer, but I don't really know. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, it, it feels kind of like a strange change in my writing to go from everything being very focused on this very, very bold narrative to everything being more focused on a much more close narrative um, and all the stories that are coming out of not having this big, messy, complicated multiverse going on in the background. Um, as I said, obviously there there is still some elements of it there. Uh, I am still aware of what's happening in the multiverse and where these stories sort of fit within the multiverse. Um, but in terms of the stories that are part of the Never Eaten collection, they're not as concerned with the, the multiverse as a as a broader picture. So. It's, it's definitely an interesting time um, for me and my writing at the moment. Um, but at the same time, it feels like something that needed to happen um, to be able to sort of take that step backwards um, into much more simple or simpler storytelling um, and not being quite so worried about this grand narrative and not being quite so worried about where the stories fall in relation to each other. Um, as I said, yes, there is. I am aware of where they sort of relate, but they are a, a closed sort of narrative. You don't need to bring in certain elements that will just sort of make it extra complicated. Everything that happens is happening within the, the realm of possibilities that that particular world that I'm focusing on for this and that particular reality that I'm focusing on for this has within it so um the the fantasy elements are much more closed and much more you know certain things are sort of hinted at um and then they come about because they've been sort of hinted at um and everything is sort of very focused on what i know exists within this particular reality and the, the limited knowledge that they have because they are disconnected from everything else and having that disconnection i think is important um, to these stories and to the narrative of these stories and not bringing in all of these outside forces. Um, so yeah, and as I said, in some ways it's like not working within the multiverse while still kind of working within the multiverse. Um, and it's for me, I think, as I said, a refreshing change. It's a refreshing break. It's, it's a way of kind of going, you know what, yes, 
everything that I was doing in the multiverse uh, stuff and, and all the series and all the individual stories that all kind of related back and connected in this big, big, big grand narrative. They're all well and good and fine and I will go back to them at some point. But working on this much sort of closer series of stories, the, these stories where everything is sort of melted down to much simpler things and much simpler ideas and you're not having to worry about all of these extra baggage that comes with working within stories set within the grander multiverse. Um, it's nice, it's refreshing, it's a change I definitely think I needed. Uh, I think I was getting a little stagnated, um, certainly both in terms of how I was going about writing at that point in time, as well as, you know, actually what I was writing and what I was producing, producing. And, you know, by that second bit, what I mean is, or oh, by the first bit, whichever bit, <laughs> by the how I was writing, I mean, I've gone from writing just a small amount every single day to writing quite a large chunk every single day. Uh, I'm still writing every single day. I'm still giving myself gaps and breaks and pauses so that my mind is still sort of going over things um, but I've gone back much more to sort of going well actually something that I haven't ever really done which is not worrying about how much I'm writing every single day as long as I'm sort of writing every single day and I'm writing a substantial amount or getting through a substantial amount every single day um, and obviously I'm doing, still having to do it sort of around work, I'm still having to do it around lots of stuff going on in my personal life, like decorating and, and everything else. And just to sort of give you an example of how much the decorating stuff kind of gets in the way, um, I got up at about quarter past eight this morning to do a second coat of paint on two and a half doors, because the, the one side of the, one of the doors is going to have something completely different on it. Um, it took me almost two hours to get that second coat of paint on the doors um, and that's because the doors are, are awkward and obviously both sides of the doors had to be done and, and everything else and yeah so but you know think I, I got up this morning thinking oh this is going to this is going to take me about an hour no I, I sort of started it you know maybe closer to about half past eight by the time I was sort of ready to sort of get going and um, it was like 10 o'clock by the time I finished and then I had to shower <laughs> to get all of the nasty paint off of me. Um, so it's, it's a case of, yes, it would be nice to be able to do these things really quickly and then get on with the rest of my day. But actually, a lot of the time it takes time to do the decorating stuff. And that means I've got then less time to do the writing stuff. Um, and that's both in terms of the writing and in terms of the editing. Um, like I just before doing this edited one chapter of uh, The Colours I See, which is the, the next book in the collection to come out or will be the next book in the collection to come out. Um, I'm 18 chapters in to this current edit through. I mean, it's, I've already like gone through it like two or three times um, already. <laughs> so this is like my third or my fourth edit through. I can't act. I've lost a bit of track. Um, and this is the slowest edit through that I've had so far because this is like the first time I'm using the voice reader to to, to do the editing for it. And um, that, that helps me sort of pick up on things that I've maybe sort of scanned over and not really seen properly before because it just it slows down how you're reading things and you can actually hear and you can hear where the mistakes are a little bit better. So I, you know, doing the whole voice reader thing is a, is a is a good method for me to to do an edit but it is a slower way of, of editing and um, a much much slower way of editing <laughs> um but that's part of the reason why i'm only like 18 chapters through it now but a, a part of that again is every single day off i've had recently and that's including the week that i had off so much of that time was dedicated to getting painting and decorating and this and that and the other sorted for the flat so um, as I've said before it's looking likely that the second book will be out closer to Christmas and then to the summer um, I'm not sure you know if that's necessarily a bad thing or not um, I'm sort of going with the mindset at the moment of it'll either be out and ready for the summer but we are now 
technically in summer, so I, I doubt it. Um, but maybe trying to get it ready for Christmas and maybe having it as a December Christmas release might actually be the better idea because, you know, that might maybe hopefully rack up a few more sales. Who knows? Um, but it is it is a bit of a <laughs> it is a bit of a wonder at the moment, to say the least. Um, but yeah, trying to get everything that I need to get done done whilst painting and decorating whilst kind of trying to balance between writing and editing and having to work it's not easy <laughs> and I think if I was still doing the multiverse stuff if I was still working if I hadn't decided there was another story within um within the Neverwritten universe or within the Neverwritten uh, characters with the Neverwritten characters and I was still working on the other project that I was working on um I think I wouldn't feel the same kind of ah I really want to be like focusing on this but I don't have time and I need to find time to you know get everything else I want to have done and have time to relax and yes I do find writing relaxing but if you don't take regular breaks from it or if I don't take regular breaks from it then um you know I, I don't ever want to get to the point where I feel like I'm blocked so I'd rather take regular breaks uh do other things come back and and let ideas sort of formulate within my mind and have time to sort of decide what they're doing um rather than just you know try to get everything done on a page at once and then kind of going oh, no, I'm not sure where I want to go with this next um so <laughs> um yeah so so what I'm trying to say is the moving on to the Neverwritten stories and doing the Neverwritten collection although they are still canon to the multiverse and they are still part of the wider multiverse it's a refreshing change because they're from a disconnected part of the, the multiverse because I don't have to worry about the big complicated overarching narrative that is going on in the multiverse um it's nice it's refreshing it's a good change it's characters that i really love and i really care about and i've really found my my absolute passion and my absolute adoration for the craft of writing i just wish i had more time in the day to get everything that i wanted to get done on the writing side of things and on the editing side of things and crack on with you know getting my flat together, getting my flat sorted and working and, you know, finding a little bit of time for rest and relaxation so that I can catch up with all the programs that I want to watch so I can play a little bit of video games. Um, so that my mind has like, like enough of a break that it's not, you know, <laughs> wearing itself out. Um, and I'm not, I'm not physically wearing myself out. So yeah, um, it's a bit of an odd topic. I know it's a bit of an all over the place kind of execution of the topic, I know but that's kind of where I'm at with it today and how I'm sort of feeling today. As I said, got up first thing this morning, took two hours to paint two and a half doors, um, almost two hours to paint two and a half doors, hour and a half-ish to paint two and a half doors. <laughs> so it was a lot more time that I wanted to lose this morning, but there wasn't really a whole lot I could do about that. That, that is what it is. Um, and yes, that's completely random and nothing to do at all with, you know, anything else, but yeah. Yay! <laughs> all right. Okay. So, next time, the topic that I have chosen, or at least the title that I've given the next one, is Any Animal. Um, and I will let you guys ponder a little bit about what that might be. I'm pretty sure your first guesses are probably going to be the right one. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I hope you're looking forward to the next one and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.